Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. It's Wednesday in Holy Week, Wednesday, the 27th of March, 2024. As I was getting ready for doing this uh, midweek moment, I was looking through um, virtual backgrounds and I found this one from way back in COVID land. Uh, so I thought I would bring it back um, as we've emerged from that one into a new future. Um, but as I said, it's Holy Week. We all know that. That uh, means that there's a lot going on um, starting tomorrow night uh, with our Maundy Thursday service, starting with soup supper at 530. And then we'll move into the sanctuary for foot washing and Eucharist and the stripping of the altar. Um, then there will be the vigil of repose in the chapel. And we are still looking to uh, fill up all of the slots between 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. Um, so if you want to uh, fill up one of those slots, you'll see the, um, the sign up um, in the e-news tomorrow. Um, and you can do that via Zoom or you can come in and do that in person. Then on Friday, um, the regular Good Friday service at noon um, with veneration of the cross and uh, communion from reserved sacrament. Saturday evening is our uh, great vigil of Easter starting at 730 out on the front porch with the lighting of the new fire and then the procession into the church and um, the lessons of the history of our salvation and the exalted uh, um, renewal of baptismal vows and then the first Eucharist of, of Easter. It's, um, it's a wonderful service and if you haven't done it before, come on down. Uh, then Easter Sunday, uh, the following day, services at 9 and 11. Um, and a couple words about all of that. One is that the Good Friday service, the Great Vigil of Easter, and the 9 a.m. service on Sunday will all be live streamed. Just those three. We're not going to do uh, the uh, Monday, Thursday, or the second service um, on Sunday. So those three will be live streamed. Also, if you are planning on coming, please, please, please do. Um, uh, arrive early. <laughs> and if you are able, if you're physically able to park across the street, uh, to park on the other side of Dry Creek on Willow, um, that would be really helpful. Our parking lot fills up quickly. And um, we're finding that uh, a lot of people um, with mobility issues are having problems um, getting into the building because there's no place to, uh, to park. So if you can park um, across the street um, uh, for either of the services on, on Sunday morning, that would be really helpful. I don't think we'll need that uh, so much on um, uh, Thursday or Friday or Saturday night, uh, but those other two, those two services on Easter Sunday, um, please, if you can, park across the street. A um, couple of other things coming up, uh, well, regarding um, this coming Sunday, uh, the children's choir will rehearse at 8.30 in the chapel uh, for their nine o'clock, for the nine o'clock service. So um, in the chapel at 8.30. Uh, I want to say thank you to a whole lot of folks. Um, the work day on Saturday was a great success. There was a lot, a lot of stuff that was done and a lot of cleaning and there, they've did a great job, found some stuff that we didn't expect to find, uh, which is what happens when you do a cleanup in a work day. But thank you to everybody who was here for that. Um, we discovered that there was a plumbing issue, a plumbing problem, and that's being worked on right now, assuming that it will be resolved by Sunday morning. It uh, really only affects the, the unisex bathroom um, down at the end of the hall by the nursery. Um, but right now, the plumbers are downstairs working on it madly. Um, thank you, too, to the folks who read The Passion um, on Sunday uh, the, and, and all of those. Um, and I know that we've got more coming up on Friday. I'll thank you, thank them in advance. Um, but thank you to that. That makes to have all of those roles covered uh, makes it uh, just that much more meaningful. And I know that for folks who get to read, it's meaningful for them, too. So thank you for doing that. Uh, thanks, too, to uh, Deacon Nadine um, and, and those who affirmed her idea of putting to putting on the Jesus Christ Superstar sing-along. That was a lot of fun. Um, and we're trying to figure out how to do other things similar. May not always be a sing-along, but that was that was really a, a great time. So thank you, Nadine, for doing that. Um, what else? 
directories are still out there. Um, if you ordered, uh, if you had pictures taken and uh, have not picked up your directory, they are in the Narthex. So please uh, come and pick them up. They're, they're in boxes out there in the in the hallway. So um, just go and, and, and find those. As I mentioned, uh, please sign up for uh, the Maundy Thursday Vigil. Going down the, the pike a bit, um, the, as I mentioned, I think last week, uh, during Easter season, uh, we're going to have an Easter basket of, uh, for Faith Forum on Sunday morning. Um, there will be a number of different things going on. Um, I'll do a couple of sessions on the Book of Common Prayer. One is sort of an overview of how it works for the church, and then a week just on how you personalize it for you, how you use it um, on a daily or regular basis. Uh, people seem to be a little confused about how to do that, and um, I know that that can be the case. So let's figure out how to do that. Um, I'll do a session on how do we use our bodies um, in prayer and worship, uh, private prayer and public prayer. Um, do we use it? What do you do? How do you do it? When do you do it? Why do you do it? Uh, I did this a long time ago. I think it's time to do it again. We've had a lot of new people come into the church who are um, less certain about what they should be doing. And so let's do something about that. I'll spend um, a Sunday talking about uh, do-it-yourself sermon writing, how I, how I prepare a sermon. Um, if some of my colleagues want to be in the room and say, oh, I don't do it that way and, and, and add theirs, uh, that, that might be interesting for you to hear. What are the ways that you look at these texts and how do you come up with something? Um, anyway, so I'll, I'll do a session on that. Um, on Earth Day, we're talking about having some, um, or, or the Sunday around Earth Day, which is the 25th, I think, of uh, April. Uh, as we did last year, we had a lot of sort of um, exhibits and things like that. We're talking about doing that again um, this year. And then at the end of uh, the program year, which will be on, uh, uh, on Pentecost Sunday, uh, there will be a presentation from the congregational care team on how to avoid getting scammed. And uh, that's applicable to, to almost all of us. Uh, I get the scam uh, attempts just like everybody else. So that's what's going to be going on uh, in uh, Faith Forum for Easter. If you've got some ideas about what you would like to see during the summer, let me know uh, and we'll figure out how to see if we can work some of those in. And as I mentioned last time, if you would like to, especially after you take my, my class on sermon writing, you want to try your hand at it. I know that uh, we've got some folks who will be celebrating, uh, who will be acting, our clergy who will be acting while I'm away on sabbatical. Some of them would say, yeah, I'd love to have somebody else uh, preach uh, during one of my slots. So if that's something of interest to you, please let me know and we can do that, uh, make that happen. Again, um, sign up for the vigil, uh, the, the prayer vigil, and I look forward to seeing you um, sometime later in this week, whether it's Thursday or Friday or Saturday or Sunday or all of the above. Um, this is a significant time for us, and um, it's, it's not about filling the church, it's about filling the spirit and uh, really entering into the Holy Week um, and, and all that that means. Um, so I encourage you to take advantage of as many of the services as you can. Um, I'm gonna conclude with the prayer for uh, Wednesday in Holy Week, uh, that being today. And uh, again, I look forward to seeing you soon. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon, give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Bye-bye.